Most of them are assigned to individual school principals. The educational assistant was never assigned to a student. Yeah. They're part of the principal staff. And the danger I found yeah. that um, you got into the budget talks and, and boards where, where they'd be having trouble, you'd go in and you'd say, you know, we don't have enough EAs. And, you, and it was the way they were utilized. Nobody needs a full-time educational assistant all day long. Mm -hmm. you, you get a kid, well, they seizure. Well, how many times? Three times. Well, that, how many times? Fifteen seconds each time. Well, okay, so <laughs> after the 45 seconds that the EA is there for that particular seizure student, mm -hmm. what else are they doing? Mm -hmm. Why can't an EA be working with more than one child at a time, mm -hmm. with several children? Mm -hmm. Is there a way of, of, of having them interact with the community that's different than the way you're doing it now? And again, it goes back to Jim's lollipop. In many school systems, they'd throw the EA at the kid, and, and that would solve it. So that when it came to, I mean, we got to a point where we said, no educational assistant will come to a parent-teacher interview. Well, why? Mm. I mean, this EA works with this kid. Why would you want to deprive that information? Yeah. Well, because it worked the other way. The teacher is going to be talking to, that kid belongs to that teacher. And the teacher better find out everything there is to know about yeah. that educational assistant. And the educational assistant should be carrying out the work that the teacher assigned, not be creating the work for the student. That's not what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So, See, sorry. We didn't, we didn't start all of this in order to have a, a, a young person taught by a non-qualified teacher. And that's mm -hmm. not a put down for me. You know, stories always help. There's a young man named Michael. Michael was very physically disabled, very bright very physically disabled. He couldn't turn pages himself and so on too. And the first time I saw Michael was in a Tim Hortons eating a donut and choking on it and he was four years old and I said to the grandmother, where's he going to school? And, and, and I said, he's mine. Uh, and, and later on when he was in grade one, six years of age, I removed portion of his educational system. By the way, I, I held to myself and I think Phil continued, the, I decided who got educational assistance. Mm -hmm. At my level, that's pretty you know, you don't do that kind of stuff, but I did. And we had a meeting which most of the staff, and, and they knew they didn't say one-on-one -on -one because that's not good education, all that kind of stuff. You know, we, we didn't do that. Mm -hmm. And we were exhausted when we were finished that meeting. And it wasn't saving money. It was making sure that we had. But Michael, sorry, Michael, the young man who uh, removed part of his educational assistant, just like Phil said, they said, well, he can't go to the bathroom. I said, well, he doesn't go to the bathroom all day. Give him a beeper on his, on his wheelchair, and we'll, we'll get somebody to him. So his mother was on SEAC, and I said, how's Michael? And she said, Michael said, next time you see Mr. Hanson, give him a punch in the head. You see? So, so I, I laughed, and I happened to be going to Ancaster the next day, and I, I went into the school, and I, I said I wanted to see Michael. So they brought me Michael with the principal, the vice principal, the caretaker, the educational assistant, a whole bit, you know, just proving my point that this was. So I said to Michael, how are you, Michael? And, and Michael knew it was coming, and he pushed himself back in his chair as, as he does some kids with cerebral palsy have to deal with that. And six-year-old memory, you want me to be independent, and I agree with you, but I need help sometimes. And I said to him, Michael, do you ever misbehave? Do you ever think of a person in a wheelchair, coatly guarded 24 hours of the day, don't we all have the right to misbehave? You know, isn't that remarkable from a little person like that? Yes. Incredible. And that's what, see, we don't want the educational assistance to become uh, a crutch. Get out of the way. Mm -hmm.